Okay, we're on my back porch today, and we're looking here at the different stages of sweet potato slips. And I've had some people that uh, got a hold of me and said, Lori, I've seen you had sweet potato slips on your cooking porch, and um, how do you start them and how do you plant them? So what I'm going to do is, today I'm just going to show you how I start them, and then as it gets uh, probably another week or two, I'll be planting them out. It'll be getting closer to May. Uh, the soil will be a lot warmer and uh, things will be perking up a little bit. So I've had some of these started and really started some of them too soon, but they'll be okay and they'll have a good root system when I get them started. But there's some of these are leftover sweet potatoes from last year. And then there's a few, I think this one, and maybe this one, I can't remember. Anyways, they're just store-bought sweet potatoes. They're organic, and uh, so I should be getting quite a few. This is how I always start my sweet potatoes. And I can tell you, um, used to you could go to the nursery and you could buy all the sweet potato slips you wanted anymore, they're hard to come by, but I started doing this years ago, and I always have plenty of sweet potatoes. But just uh, starting your sweet potato slips, all you gotta do is take your sweet potatoes. Some people cut it, the bottom off. Um, mine do better doing the whole sweet potato. I know some people think, well, that's a waste of a sweet potato. But it really isn't because you, you'll get a, a lot of slips off this one sweet potato. But you want to know your top from your bottom or your sweet potato. Your top's going to be pointy and your bottom of your sweet potato is going to be flat. So you want the flat part down in the water. And you just want to stick you some toothpicks in your sweet potato to hold it up out of the water just like that. So you can see how much I've got submerged. Now, once you do this, it's going to be at least a couple of weeks before you see anything really start happening. This one right here, you can see the roots are really starting. But on this one, um, the slips are coming from down here at the bottom. And some of them will do that. And then you got some that want to start at the top. And it really doesn't matter. They're going to grow. Um, I have done already took some of the slips off this sweet potato because they were getting pretty big. So I took them off. And uh, they're down in here in this water to get some good roots on them. So at this point, I'm going to take it out and show you that sweet potato slip starting. And it doesn't matter. Like I said, it can start from the bottom of the potato or it can start at the top. Either way. This one needs just a little bit more water in it. Now these have been sitting out here on the back porch. And uh, what I try to do is every couple of days uh, change the water out. And these are needing changed. Um, here we got another sweet potato. You can see that it's really got some good root system going on there. Now I've taken some of the slits off this one too. But you can see some of them starting there on the bottom. And I even got a little bitty one starting down there. But I've already taken some off the top here and um, got them starting to root. This little bitty sweet potato right here was one, one from last year. I found it underneath the house. And it was just a little bitty thing. I want you to look. It has given me so many slips. But what I do, see if I can find one. This one right here, you can see how the slips up here on the top of the sweet potato. And what I do, once they start getting long like this, is I'll take that sweet potato and I'll just gently, as close to the potato as I can get, and take that slip off, just like that. And then what I do is I just take that slip and I'm going to slip it down in the water 
and let it start getting a good root system. And that's as easy as it can be. This one needs the water um, changed in it too. But this one right here, I've got several slips that I've already taken off of this little bitty sweet potato. And uh, I've got some good root system going on there too. So, and here's another one. It was just a little bitty sweet potato. I need to change this water out too. But you can see the slips coming off the top and I'll let them grow and I'll let them get so big and then uh, I'll just uh, break them off. Like I said, as close to the potato as you can and then slip them in the water and uh, watch them root. These right here are some that I've already snipped off some of the sweet potatoes. And you can see they're getting a good root system. So these will be the first ones that I plant. And uh, that'll probably be happening here in a week or two. So I've still got a lot of them coming on. I'm going to have plenty of slips. And uh, I just think it's a great way to to get you a, a good mess of sweet potatoes going. Sweet potatoes and potatoes are different when you're trying to grow up. I know potatoes, you can take a, a seed potato and plant, plant it in the ground and it grows potatoes. Sweet potatoes are, uh, they're part of the morning glory uh, plant. So you can't plant the potato and get a sweet potato. You have to plant the plant, the roots, the roots, the slip with the roots. That's what's going to make your, your sweet potatoes. So that's the difference between potatoes and sweet potatoes. So anyways, it's pretty easy. I think they're pretty. Uh, I guess that's probably why I start them so early anyways, because I just think they're pretty growing. But I do have some that are getting close to being put out so anyways I just want to do a little video on that because I've had several people ask me and uh, I think it's a good thing to do just like saving your own seeds making your own potato slips so when these get ready to go and get in the ground I'll bring them back and we'll plant them in the ground so y'all have a wonderful day and happy gardening and God bless everybody